Welcome to today's workout. We're legit hitting chest right now. And what I wanted to do was take three movements that I was already going to be doing today. And instead of throwing a vlog or something at the front of this, we're actually gonna get right into the reason why you watch this video. So I'm gonna show you three different movements that I'm gonna be doing today. And I picked these three strategically. I know gyms are opening back up, which is awesome. That's so great. But just in case you need a dumbbells only chest day, that's still really effective. And that's the whole point there is picking three exercises that aren't just random things that are gonna get views. Or, you know, do well on social media, we still need them to be effective and get results out of them. Otherwise, we're just wasting our time. So, all three of these are extremely effective, and they're some of my go tos. Let's jump right into them. All right, so this first one we're gonna be doing here is a squeeze press. At least that's what I call them. There might be a different name for them. But what we're doing is we're gonna squeeze the two dumbbells together and then press up with our chest. The reason why I really like this is because when we get right here situated, just by pressing the dumbbells together, the squeeze part of the name, that's what's activating my chest. I'm already getting chest activation. And then I'm pressing up, squeezing through my chest. And the other thing that it'll force us to learn how to do is a lot of times we'll squeeze at the end of our rep, but what we should be doing is trying to squeeze all the way through the rep so by having to press these dumbbells together and then press that weight up as we're squeezing them, it's teaching us to squeeze all the way through the rep and not just at the end. So we get the most contraction and the most out of the workout. BCA's here, shameless plug, but still an everyday thing. It's not like we're just doing it for this video. I created these BCA's because when I first started working out, having BCA's during my workout was something that I just really enjoyed. So I've always, always done that. So I wanted to add uh, Aquaman in here for a hydration complex. All right, moving on to a, just a basic dumbbell chest fly. That's what I was saying earlier. It's nothing against the basics of just a normal uh, DB chest press. It's just I wanted to explain that other variant, but this here is just an old school staple. I want to get a really good stretch in my chest and then squeeze that weight up. So again, slight arch in our lower back, all that tension, all that stretches in our chest, opening it up, pushing that chest out in a way and squeezing that weight up. And then back to what I was saying earlier, when we we're doing the squeeze presses. Don't wait to squeeze here at the top of this rep. I want you to start squeezing right here from the bottom of the rep, squeezing that weight out, pushing that chest out. I did, th I did these wrong for years and years and years. I would just waste my time using way too heavy of weight, just ego lifting. And I wish I would have worked on the stretch and the squeeze, the focus there. And like I said to you there earlier, check your ego at the door, focus on the control of the weight. Now use the weight, as much weight as you can, under control is the key. That's how we make our workouts more challenging and more effective, is by using as much weight as we possibly can for that rep range, as long as we're under control. Really controlling our breathing. Squeeze up. All right, next movement. This is gonna be a finesse movement here, meaning we're not gonna really focus on how much weight we're using. This isn't another one we're gonna brag about how much weight we can do scoop flies with. But what we're gonna do is have our palms up and we're gonna scoop the weight up, squeezing that weight up. And again, it goes back. I know I'm like a broken record now repeating myself, but it's just that important. When we wanna squeeze through the rep, I want you to start squeezing here and not just here. A lot of people just wanna squeeze, which was me for years and years. So I'm not trying to say it's just others. I did this as well, and I wish I would have learned sooner. You're coming up, and we're just squeezing here. We gotta squeeze through the entire motion, and you can see how much activation is there in my chest. So, I already did a warm-up set, and again, you'll see I'm only selecting 25s here, and it's a weight I can control, 
keep that mind muscle connection, meaning I'm mentally focusing on the muscle I'm trying to target. And I like to do these one side consecutively at a time instead of alternating, because I feel like once I kind of find that rhythm, I just want to stay in it and then mentally lock in to working that, that muscle there. So I feel that stretch here, open up, squeeze that weight up. People want to ask how high should I go? Basically the way I determine that is if I'm squeezing from here all the way up, I just want to keep going until I can't squeeze anymore. So we don't want the squeeze or the tension to leave the muscle. We want to keep it right there in the pectoral. As we work that chest and squeeze it up. Now the front of the shoulder is still going to get activated here. Now, but we can minimize it by what I said is focusing mentally on that chest and activating that. If you're an old school bodybuilding nerd like me, the old Arnold videos where he would say, guys would follow me around the gym, work out with me, wouldn't get the same results. It's because they weren't mentally connecting with the muscle. So don't just go through the motions. We're here to get results. We're putting in the work. So let's get the most out of it by focusing in and squeezing through every set, every breath. All right, so I just gave you three different dumbbell movements. One other note on the squeeze presses. Um, I wanted to make sure that I showed you on a flat surface, so that way if you don't even have a regular bench, you can actually do those on the ground because of our elbows coming out and squeezing the, the weight together instead of back, it gives you that clearance of laying flat on the ground, so you can do that. So I wanted to show you that option. I like to throw in what I call a finisher at the end of the workout that makes me just feel like I gave my absolute all. I'm gonna show you guys a finisher here. It's just gonna be body weight push-ups, but it's gonna really get the heart rate going. It's gonna make your chest feel like it's gonna explode and make you really feel like you gave your all today. So nothing fancy here for our setup, just about shoulder width apart here. We don't want our elbows super flared out, just slightly tucked. And what we're gonna do is keep our chest up, keep the tension in our chest all the way down, squeeze back up. We don't want a half rep here, depending on your mobility, once you try to get all the way down. No tension off here at the bottom, just squeezing up. So you're gonna go one set till failure. You're gonna get 30 seconds rest, then you're gonna go another set of push-ups till failure. Then we're gonna cut that rest time in half again, 15 seconds rest, then right into failure again. I guarantee you, if you're really pushing yourself, you're gonna be cooked by the end of this one. If you guys wanna see more about what we do at Lifted Lifestyle and what we do on this channel, Cars, uh, we have a lot of fun with it. Go check out the other videos, but we're not gonna do that in this video. Just wanted to give you guys the meat of why you clicked on this. I hope you enjoyed the workout. We'll see you in the next video.